Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Priming, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Yay. Um, don't know what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> I think I'm going to continue to clean, maybe, possibly. But if I have enough room, I would like to do a, um, a Christmas tree. But I was looking up block Christmas trees, and I, I just... I'm not sure I like it does like any designs that I liked. Um, did I have a glow? Okay, this one needs to go over and glow. So glow goes in here. Yeah, stay. Good. Uh, I, I have wood bins. This is palm. What, what are you doing over here, dude? Is this birch or is this palm? Oh, that's birch. Oh, wow. That's a big birch tree. Um, hmm. Do I have birch? Wait, is that palm? Wait, this isn't palm, is it? I can't tell what it is. No, this is pine. Pine and palm look so similar. Oh, don't get scammed. Somebody sells you a palm, you be sure that you have a piece of palm to compare it to. All right, this is birch. Stay, stay. Very good, good, good. We still have plenty of these things. Oh my goodness. Here, push, push, push. There we go. Line that up a little bit. Very good. I don't know why I've been doing this accent lately. I mean, I don't have an accent, but I like it. It's very nice. Don't, don't know. I don't know. Um, let's see. That's a bunch of little spookwood pieces. Look, I bet we can. I bet we can get a truck and start chucking these in there. Get all these little spook pieces out of the way and we need to build on some more um, some more of our, our things I wish there were a way that you could combine wood like I know there's not and I know in the real world you can't really combine wood together to make a bigger plank I mean you could do like some gorilla glue stuff and some joints like where, where you like cut it in a specific way but it doesn't it's not combining to become a bigger piece of wood it just and physics doesn't work like that, you know? I mean, sometimes it does, but on a normal day, <laughs> when physics tends to follow the the rules of the universe. Oh, come on, come on, please. Yes. Oh, that was rough. Alpha box, yay. We could probably sort that out as well. Now take the wood and bring it to me. Please donate me, thanks. Now we need to get a car for collect all the wood. Where are you? What wood? Okay, that's a sawmill, I can put that over there. We, we can, oh, there's a little one. Gold neon. Oh! You are at yellow wood. I thought you meant gold wood. I have a bridge <laughs> for that too. <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> Should we go load in the, the that bridge and show it to him? Kind of, kind of show off a little bit, because you guys know I, I love showing off. I am a big show off. What you mean? <laughs> I have a bridge that goes to the first island in front of the cave, so you can just walk it up. We'll load it in here in a second. We'll show them. <laughs> That's a heavy piece. We're just we're just gonna drop that in for now. I'm not gonna worry about like making it all nice and neat. Drop it a drop. I wanna see this! <laughs> I bet you do, dude. <laughs> Alright, hold on, hold on. Let's let's get this all sorted. I don't even know if that went in. I'm just chucking it over the side now. You know what? Here, we can we can we can put it in the bin later. Put it in the bin later. We'll just get it over the wall for now. Uh, 
Okay, there we go. I think that's it. Whoa! Where did this piece come from? Hello. Hello, you. How are you? Oh my goodness, you are a tall boy. Tall boy! You, you don't... Yeah, you're not going in the bin. That's... <laughs> Alright, menu. Load! Slot 4. Load. Well, I guess we're not doing a Christmas tree tonight. We're going to be making a trip to Yellowwood. Yay! It's one of my faves. What was that? What is that? Is that a skull? No, that's a that's a coal. That's coal. Just some coal. Apple just ran. Oh, videos just uploaded. It's my Fortnite Live. Uh, by the way, I've been doing Fortnite Live at nighttime. Oh, also the competition for the five badges. Or yeah, is it five? Five badges for three day pass to um, PAX South. Go check it out in yesterday's video. Okay. It's uh, a five-day pass that anybody can get. All I need is a first name, last name, and make sure that you have a photo ID whenever you show up at the will call. And they will give you a badge to PAX South. A huge... Um, it's a convention. It's a gamer's convention. So, I, I think I gave away five last year, too. Congratulations to those winners. I hope you had fun. Uh, I was not able to go. Hopefully this year, things are different. And I might be able to plan a trip. Hmm. It'll be fun. I'll be there as media. Mm. They called me media. They gave me a media badge. Oh no. Where are you going, ball? Here. Let's try and joink. Can I make you go in the opposite direction? Oh, that is not working at all. Oh no! <laughs> oh, there it goes. I think I actually lost that one. Oh, it's gone. It is gone. Did you see that? It's like, I am out of here. It is still off in the distance. It's going the distance. It's going for speed. It's all alone, all alone, all alone in the Lumberland need. I don't even know who that is. Is that Beck? That's Beck, I think. <clears throat> another 90s band code? Yeah, it's another 90s band. But it's fine. I've got a lot of people messaging me. What's going on? <clears throat> oh, no. These are just old messages. Old messages. Do you ever hate that when you get, like, a bunch of... Notifications for stuff that you didn't ask for. Ooh, yeah, like that. What? What is this? A copyright claim was created. Wait, what? Fortnite Live. Who copyrighted the Jedi steps and the final from Star Wars: The Force Awakens? UMG. Oh no. A copyright owner of the content ID for the Star the Star Wars The Force Awakens uh, score, UMG. Can I get a copyright strike for something that Fortnite put into their game? What? Oh, this is not a copyright strike. This is simply a claim. Oh, um, I still don't like it. I'm going to go remove that later. Ugh. Ugh. Nasty. Oh, I have to hit quit, don't I? Because I still have to have slot one. Slot one. Loading bridge. Now. Menu. Load. Four. Ooh. That was like a double click, and it was really close to the delete button. So, <laughs> wow. I'm selling yellow wood. Who wants? No, thank you. Alright, there we go. Select. Confirmed. Do, 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 do. Alright, alley oop. Up we go. Zink. 
Was that the guy? Yeah, there's that cat. Bridge to Yellowwood. Sure. I'll get a plank for the end. For the Ned. <laughs> I'll get a plank for the Ned. <laughs> Ned, you're welcome, sir. <laughs> uh, do I have any pieces that are big enough for... Yeah, we can We can use uh, one of these, right? Yeah, that'll be fine. It's good. Oh my gosh. All right. Uh, one fourth. Go. Yeah, one fourth is fine. It'll be. It'll be fine. It's fine. Oh come on! Just get in there, please. The sawmill is your home. Are you too good for your home? <laughs> he goes like, okay. Mm. Oh, I hope that's long enough. Hmm. I might have to build wedges up to... Uh, up to it. So we can walk up long planks. Never even thought about that. Hold on. Do I have wedges? I haven't even bought wedges as uh, blueprints yet. Hmm. Come on. There we go. Do, 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 do. Okay, it does not quite reach there. Oh. Come on. Out. Okay, how am I going to get it up there? I guess I could just lean it against the ladder, maybe? No, that does not work. <laughs> Unstable, sir. Unstable. Hmm. Yeah, let's build some wedges. You know? Why not? Uh, I'm going to destroy that door. And we'll destroy that door. And I need to go get the wedge blueprints, don't I? Wait, what? The black axe costs a hundred K a piece? What? The end times axe black is only worth nine K. Sorry to burst your bubble, dude. <laughs> Too many axle and one black. Many axe. I'll buy a four by four. Thank you. I send you three hundred K. Blue is added to the collection. Wait, which one was that? That was the large 4x4. Four four. That's the biggest one, right? There should be a... There's a 2x4, but... I want the I want the big one. I know I could use stairs. Wait, does he have stairs? He does have stairs somewhere, right? Step stairs. Should we use step stairs? Let's, uh... Let's check out some step stairs. I have not built with step stairs in quite some time. Okay, so we will try out both and see see what we like. If the uh, wedges are bigger, then I will probably go for the wedge. Alright, let's go to four. Wedge. <laughs> I'm just walking through everything. All right, uh, I need to do a rotate turn, rotate turn, rotate turn, rotate turn. 
turn. There we go. Okay, so that's how big that one is. Let's check uh, the wedge. The 4x4 four four wedge is the same size. Hmm. Hmm. I think the... Um, let's go ahead and destroy that. I think we'll go with the uh, the stairs. How many do you think? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's go with 10 to start off. And here we go. 1, 2, uh, 3. Don't get too close. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And I should have enough wood over here to put all these together. I'll go a little bit smaller, see if that's... Yeah, that was way too much wood, wasn't it? Now let's do half of that. Ooh, 97, so that's really close. I would say right about there would be just enough. A little bit thicker than that. Let's go right there. Yeah. Nice. Uh, that's not going to work, so we'll just drop that in. Be done. Be done. Be done. Be done. Grab another one. Oh, come on. Come on. There you go. That was too small. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we're good. Good. All right, now we need to start moving. So let's just go E, move, um, rotate, rotate. And we'll start right about here. No particular spot is right or wrong. Well, that one was wrong. <laughs> but I don't have to let it mess me up because I can just go one ahead. And then put this one back in place, and it should be perfect. Perfect. Perfecto mundo. How far along are we? We're 17 minutes. Oh gosh. You need the hurry code. Wait, is this right? Oh, no, this is not right. I need to come out away from the wall, don't I? Uh-oh, can I... Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Because we can't have it, like, right on the door. We have to go out a little bit. Come on. Oh, see Daisy. Oh, is that... That didn't work. We're off by a step. <laughs> there we go. Nice! Nicely done! So what this will do, this will allow us to get long planks up there, and it'll also allow us to walk the wood down so we're not just chucking it. What is that? Oh, it's the shadow. It's the shadow from uh, from my spawn pad. That's awesome. <sighs> okay, so I know that this doesn't have much of a tutorial on it, but I hope it helps you to like show you that you can do steps pretty much anywhere. And get them working <laughs> also it's relaxation time I mean that is one of my biggest things is just to not stress about whatever's happening in your life and to relax um, I had a gentleman inside the discord who had asked a question that I kind of wasn't prepared for but I mean it wasn't like a tragic situation, but it was still a, a friend, and um, there was concerns that something had happened to the friend, you know? And it makes you realize how fragile life actually is. I mean, we go about our day, day to day, and we worry about little things. And one of the best analogies that I had, uh, that I was told, was by my... Um, 
It wasn't the psychology teacher. It was the um, theory, theory, uh, not theory. It was, what was it? Theology. My theology teacher um, in college, he said, uh, imagine I've got a jar and you, uh, he takes a, a whole bunch of, um, what was it, tennis balls, and fills up the jar. And he asked the class, is the jar full? And he didn't actually have this inside the classroom. He just talked about it because it was uh, something that somebody else had said. And everybody in the class kind of agreed. We're like, yeah, it's, it's full. And then he took a whole bunch of marbles, or theoretical marbles, dropped them in and said, how about now? Because they'd, they'd go in and they'd fill in all the little spaces. We're all like, eh, kind of, okay. And he said, now I dump sand into the jar and it fills in all the little cracks and all the little crevices all the way up to the top. And he says, is the jar full? We're like, yeah, of course it's full now. And then he says, I take two cups of coffee and I pour it in and it soaks into the sand. And then he began to explain, he said, the, the big tennis balls, those are the big things that actually matter in your life. These are your family, your religion, your, your education and work. Like these are the big things, your home. That's, that's the big things in your life. And the marbles, they represent kind of the, the mundane, everyday kind of thing. And then the sand represents the infinitesimal, no, inf infinitesimal, the, the minor stuff, the little things that just, you don't need to really worry about. If you fill up your jar, if you fill up your life with all the little things, you'll have no room for the marbles, the things that kind of matter. And if you fill up your jar with marbles, you'll have no room for the big things in your life, like your family and your religion and, and you, your personal well-being, your mental health. Those are big things. And if you fill up your life with the little things to worry about, you'll not have room for anything else. And then he didn't say anything else. And, and everybody always does this. They ask, what about the two cups of coffee? Because <laughs> he didn't explain. He said, no matter how full your life is, there's always time for coffee with a friend. Oh, that was awesome. Sorry. Uh, anyhow, I don't know where he got the saying, but that's one that stuck with me. And I love giving that as an example to like how to live your life. And don't get me wrong, I'm a drama queen. <laughs> I will I will raise a fuss about the littlest things, but I always come back to realize that those little things in the end don't matter. They really don't. The star program, yeah, it would be nice. It doesn't really matter to me. It doesn't make a difference if somebody says yes or no. Because in the end, I did what I knew was right and I'm doing good. I know I'm doing good. So, don't let the little thing stress you out. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Hi. I'm making stairs so I can walk the plank up there. <laughs> Walk the plank, so we can walk the plank. <laughs> Make him walk the plank. No, I don't want to jump the plank. Ah! Mm, sorry. Coffee. My coffee's out. I ran out of coffee during Fortnite, and now I don't know what to do. There we go. That's good. That's good enough. So that's how far Tin got us. I probably only needed, like, five to finish it out, but... It's fine, it's fine. Mm -hmm. I should probably make like a car garage or something for all the cars. Put little roofs over the top of them. Like a little apartment complex with little, you know, the, you know how the parking lots will have those little roofs over them for the people that rent from apartments. Well, if you're in the United States. 
Um, I don't know what they do for other other states, like apartment complexes and stuff. <clears throat> I know in Japan they have uh, they have like these huge buildings with just tons of people, and they're they're itty bitty rooms. They're like individual rooms, but you know, it's uh, to accommodate. It's not it's not expensive to live there. It's a great place to start out if you're you know. Just getting out on your own, getting away from the family, stuff like that. Of course, also in Japan, um, there's a lot of family homes that will span four or five generations. You got grandma, great-grandma, mom, uh, kiddos, and, and grandkids all living underneath the same house. Very common. Not always common, but... <sighs> it's just very different here in America. Our independence seems to be priority number one sometimes. And I don't know if we've done that on, to ourselves on purpose, but, you know. It does make me wonder sometimes. Uh, we need, like, a small step, don't we? Okay, hold on. There's about one, two, three units difference there. So... If I move this, here we go. Let's do this. We'll move this one down one. We're gonna move this one down one. Because it still looks good. And then we're gonna move this one down one. Hello? Hey. Hold on one second. <laughs> Did I outro? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. I'm still building. Okay, that may have been one too small. Hold on. Because there's four and I needed three spaces. So maybe I only needed to do one. Let's see if this reaches. If this doesn't reach, uh oh. Okay, we need to come back up one. So let's move this one up one. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. And we can move this one up one. Nice, nice. Uh oh. There we go. That'll work. And now I can do four large floor. And we can do <coughs> rotate turn. And that, oh, 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 come on, come on. There we go. That should be right even. Even Steven. Uh-oh. Steven! <laughs> I haven't talked to Steven in forever. Right, Steven? Yeah. Well. What's that? Oh, oh, you're imaginary and nobody, you, you don't actually exist? Okay, I mean, you be you. Be you. you do whatever it is that Stevens do. <sighs> you guys know Stevens. Those imaginary creatures that don't actually exist. And everybody loves. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. Maybe not. Uh, let's just do this. <laughs> Sing me the song Danny Boy. <laughs> oh Danny Boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. <laughs> Alright. Um We are just about done.
There we go. Nice. Nice. Whoa, Nelly. Straighten it out, straighten it out, straighten it out. There we go. Do 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 the summer's gone and all the flowers die. The summer's gone and all the flowers are dying. Tis you, tis. You must go. And I must bite? What? <laughs> Sing me, Code. <laughs> Sing it, everyone. This is this is for everyone that has not seen the door bridge. Because, I mean, I've got a ton of different videos over the door bridges and I know I know somebody in the comments down below and you can go look right now somebody's going to say code how did you make that door bridge and all the comments responding are gonna be like dude he made a video over it over all of these right okay okay hold on hold on hold on is it gonna is, that's gonna hit isn't it oh gosh Ooh, there we go. That's gonna be stuck in my head now. No, 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 no! Stop! Stop! Ooh. Oh, that's that is amazing. That's awesome. Okay, that's uh, that's it. Bridge is down. <laughs> Thanks, Danny ba Boy, for showing up at the last moment. Oh, he's got a new point. Okay, hold on. I need to stand on this side. <laughs> Noob. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. <sighs> Outro.